it is the best show I have ever seen. He has all these crazy, sexy lady dancers, oh. and he is the Grace. Oh my God. Okay, I'm trying to picture. This is what he does. Oh. oh, the whole concert. What do you mean? Oh my God, With the, the whole women? concert. With his, uh, uh. With his what? All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut presented by Pirate Water P-Dubs. It's the drink of the century. It's a tall boy, delicious 10% ABV malt beverage. Grace, we got four flavors. Do you want to tell me what they are? Yes, Brianna. I'm just finding out now that they're ready to go in a can. Mm. And these four flavors are... Pirate water. We've got pirate water. <laughs> Blue mama, mama. We've got pirate water. Margarita. We've got pirate water. Sex on the beach. And we've got pirate water. Margarita. I think I might Miami have said Vice. that. <laughs> Miami Vice. Oh my god, there's four. Who has a vice? Miami does, uh -huh. and it's right again. And it's truly gonna have some sex on the beach, and they're all delicious flavors. If you haven't tried them yet, you can get them on drinkpirewater.com, or where can you else? Where you can get a G? Go puff right to your door, baby. Mm, they're delicious. It's the drink in a can, under two dollars, ready to go, ready to get you friggin' ready for the fucking day. Go get you drink one. Go get you cousin. Go drink one. <laughs> Let's get into the episode. <laughs> What's up, degenerates? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut. We in the stew, bitch. Just like you thought we were, I'm we are. My mind, G. Have not slept yet. Got off the flight from Ozzy Osbourne last night. Mm -hmm. Wow, she's jet lagged. Yeah, she's a little jet lagged. I can see it in your eyes. Dude. You're angry, dude. <laughs> no, I'm not angry. I'm actually freaking vibing. She's vibing. I'm um. It's gonna hurt, man. This week is gonna hurt, man. Why? Because I think by the time I finally get a nice rest, mm -hmm. it's time for us to go to New Hampshire and board with the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to go snowboarding once again. Mm -hmm. um, uh, last time I went snowboarding, I kind of uh, kind of had myself a tricky day. You had a tricky <laughs> situation. Hey, but gee, B's never snowboarded before, so she'll be on your level. Nah, you learn quick. You, you learn quick, man. I think I'm just going to go tubing. <sighs> Dude, no, I want to go snowboarding with my best friend. Mm, not bestie ain't got the skills. <laughs> uh, dude, but bestie doesn't either. Mm, bestie learns it. quick, but dude. I'll learn slow. No, you don't have to. No, don't slow down for me. I will. I want to. I'm <laughs> no. going to take it slow this weekend, G. I'm exhausted. Oh, slow down for I me. I want to slow it down this weekend. I'm exhausted, G. I get it. I get it. I get all right, it. All right, all right, all right. But I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? I was Australia. Dude, epic. And I got you a keychain and you a keychain and you a bunch of presents and I forgot them because I'm so tired. And that's when I threw my jacket down when I got here and said, are you fucking serious? I fucking forgot all my presents from my fucking team. Keychains! Dude. You get a keychain. You get a keychain. Dude, I was like, wow, these are so sick. I've got to get these for my buddies. I mean, you couldn't bring any cigarettes back. I was going to bring Australian cigarettes back. Oh, are they, are they fire cigs? No, they're really bad. Oh. I just figured everyone should try one in their times. Mm. So you were ripping those? Uh, just one. Mm. And then I brought 40 vapes. Oh, perfect. Didn't get arrested. Good. Dude, the food there sucks. What? You would hate it. Really? Yeah, it's so... Dude, I'm sorry if you're Australian. Nothing like Outback? <laughs> I wish. They they don't use seasoning. It's all like a lot better for you. Mm. So it's real bland, Jay, and it's real bad. And they don't have anything native to them, really, besides a couple fish foods. Mm. Yeah, they're a bunch of whites. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lot mm -hmm. of whites. Yeah. Lots of whites. Like America's like a melting pot of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Australia's not. No. So I was like, wow, gee, I'm fucking starving over here. Dude. All I this kind of reminds me of like nothing. McConaughey was just eating fucking mayonnaise and uh, lettuce when he was there. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, McConaughey. God. So what are you doing? What? <laughs> <laughs> Why got you got your fist in the ball? What's wrong? I ain't got nothing wrong. I like your jacket. Yeah, thanks, man. I do be looking like I'm bagging many chicks this weekend. Yeah, do you bag many chicks? I'm going to help you because you're my best friend. You have something in your tooth, and this is going to be on the TV. All right, we're back. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> back on the TV. I just, hey, welcome back. We're on the TV. Hey, look at us. We're on the TV. Oh, you tried? You guys tried gingerbread latte yet from Starbucks? No, can't say that I have. I always like the caramel brulee. I actually just tried it, and I forgot already. Say the word <laughs> nuclear. <laughs> Nucula. <laughs> we had to do an ad, and we had to say the word. Well, G had to say the word. I can't even say it either. Nuclear. Nuclear. And Grace said Nucula. Nucula. <laughs> Nucula bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm kind of feeling nuclear right now, G. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, all right. Will you tell me about Australia for fuck's sake? But besides oh. the fact that they have shitty food, I'm pretty sure there's some epic highs here. <laughs> I need right. to hear about the epic highs. Big Boss, it was, <laughs> it was sick, Big Boss. Fuck, man. Dude, I mean, I don't know. I didn't, I just like fucking, listen, Melbourne, I went to Melbourne. Okay. Melbourne reminds me a lot of Brooklyn and okay. New York City. It's very much city-like. It's like, um... <laughs> Very young and hopping. It's mm -hmm. everything there is like meant 
with or made with intent. So like, mm. you know how in America on the highway, like all the sound walls when you're driving, like the the big just like brick. I don't know nothing about the sound walls. Ugly. Like when you're driving on the highway, mm-hmm. the big high like like ugly walls. Yeah. Because there's houses on the other side. So they're the sound walls. Yeah. In Australia, they're all made out of colorful plexiglass, and there's windows in them, and they go on for miles, and it's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. There's all sculptures and colors everywhere. Like, everything is just pretty. And, dude, Australia is the same size as America almost. It's a little smaller, and it has 25 million people total. California has 35 million people. Oh, wow. How crazy is that? You're coming in quick with these stats. Dude, because it was crazy. It's, like, so... It's so beautiful and clean. And then you're like, yeah, because there's like no one here, really. Yeah. Which is crazy. But it was so pretty. Uh, people are fucking electric. Dude. Yeah, dude. dude they, they are your people. Oh, dude, they've got it coming on. Do you know who Dermot Kennedy is? Yes, Brianna. Okay. I can't believe you didn't tell me about I, this. I, well, okay, I met him immediately and I was like, dude, gee. Oh, I can't believe you didn't tell me that, he was, that you guys were hanging out. Dude. I was like, when I saw, I had to see it on the internet. Oh, and I'm like, what the fuck? This is like a very big deal. Gee, I know. I didn't friggin' use my phone. There. Well, also, anytime I was trying to talk to you, you were asleep. It was yeah. opposite times. I know, but and I wanted really to know stunk. about this. Well, I'm telling you now. Thanks. Dermot <laughs> Kennedy is the Would man. have had you say something for me. Like what? Like <laughs> something that would have really caught his eye. <laughs> well, his wife was there. Well, no, it's fine. And she's awesome. I just wanted to let him know he's great. Gee, <laughs> he's. All I was thinking was, dude, Jay would be losing it. Losing he it. He got that Irish accent. Yeah. He is a voice of an angel. Fine mother. He he was reminding me of, he's got swag like no other. His voice, angel. Mm-hmm. He Me and Zach were like, dude, this guy is so hot. Like, we were like, wow, this guy is fucking sweet. He's like one of the, the three, maybe five people that came out of Ireland that are gorgeous. Dude, <laughs> and he is so nice. Wife, I, I keep calling her wife. Girlfriend, maybe. I don't know. They're a beautiful hmm. couple. She's amazing, dude. They are awesome. He is awesome. <laughs> it was epic, man. I just kept thinking G would lose her mind over this accent. What this a- boy, because he looks like a UFC fighter, too. I know. <laughs> dude, Rihanna, I, what, what did you not know him beforehand? No, I did, but I didn't know you knew him. Oh, dude, I know. Because we never talked about him before. Oh, my God. We usually talk about Nora, all these guys. Nora is the biggest. My sister Nora is the biggest fan of him. Zach is a huge fan, and I was like, wait, you are a huge fan of him? For some reason, I didn't, I didn't like, put them together for mm-hmm. some reason. And when he came, he came to the show, flew in, did two songs. We hung out before, hung out after. Sick. Man, G. All I could think was, G. <laughs> she would literally breath I lost. To a T. Breath lost. No. Oh, oh, I'm like, God. no, I'd probably just have a heart attack. But yeah, I kept there's thinking, no there's no way she could even be in this room. I wouldn't even be able to breathe. It would feel like the oxygen's out of my head. I know. I just <laughs> really kept thinking, thank God G's not here because she'd be in the hospital. I would be saying something crazy. I'd have to, I'd, uh. No, he was so normal, so cool, so chill. Dude, you would have been besties with him. It was epic. It was epic. That's so that sick. was one of the epic things That's in Australia. That's pretty damn sick. And that was the last night. Dude, the Australia show, Australia's crazy. <laughs> Loudest show. Gee, I went to the porta potty and I almost fell over. It was shaking so loud. Oh, sick. The crowd was singing every single word to every single song. Oh, dude, oh man. They've been Everyone waiting was doing shoeies. I know. Everyone was so nice. The shoey thing's insane. Dude, I know. So then you just put your shoe back back on? Oh, uh, well, he did it from a shoe from someone in the crowd. Ugh. And it was gross. pouring rain. I know. I was like, thank God it's not hot out right now. It's kind of cold. Ah, gross, man. Shoeies is something else. I know. Definitely something I would do. I mean, I was spitting in miles, getting spit in. I it's know. like, that's fine. I wanted to do it, but no one wanted me to do it. Just see. I was nah. like, dude, if he's not going to do it, I will get on this. Dude, I'm going to give me a shoe. Hold it on a shoe. Give me your heels. <laughs> yeah, give me your freaking heels. I'll do it. You're awesome. But that was sick. Um... We drove the coast for like five hours, and I was like, dude, I want to live here. Gee, you would love That's Australia beautiful. so much. Hey, listen, I, I don't know if I'd all be all the way in. Sounds like the food's not great. Oh, I know, but then you maybe learn how to chef. Oh, I could learn how to you chef. You know what they have there at McDonald's? <laughs> what they got? Chicken Big Macs. Huh. I didn't try it. I watched other people try it. Okay. I didn't like You were cooking the on these chicken I didn't Mc- like what the McDonald's <laughs> over there was doing, Jay. What do you like? I didn't like it. It wasn't. No, it didn't fuck them. It wasn't good. Dude, let's get you. Let's get rid of them. <laughs> I know. I wanted to. They got these cosmic McDonald's it coming. It's so clean. I saw that. It's just Sonic. I know. And it's just drinks. Yeah. Pretty and, sure. and a few couple things. All right. Like what? I don't know. Like deluxe burgers and shit. Oh, I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, just saw, I saw it. The first one's rolling out in like a weird, like uh, South Dakota or Indiana or something. Yeah, they got some Neither odd, of those states, odd locations. Of those. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. But yeah, dude, the food's bad. Australia was sick. <laughs> got to see some more koalas and wild kangaroos. Wild kangaroos. wild kangaroos. Where do you see the wild kangaroos? Well, we were going on a hike. 
Oh. Wild kangaroos. Whoop, 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 whoop. How are you hiking? Out of breath a little bit? Oh. Wow, gee. It was bad. I haven't worked out in wow. Yeah. Ask me how, when's the last time I worked out. I couldn't tell you. All I can say was wow. I don't know. Yeah. I literally need a map to shocking. figure out the last time I worked out. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, if I told you what time, we both have a shocking answer. Yeah. I really literally have no idea. Yeah. But hike was fine. It was fine. You I was out like of breath? Death. No, I was. Oh, yeah. But it was fine. It was just a vaping. You just take a, like a little... <sighs> <laughs> well, they got the doctors when they're taking your temperature. Uh, and then you go, okay, I gotta keep going up. <sighs> and then you get up top Breathe and then you're like, oh man, I should work out more. Yeah. Because it feels good once you try to, when you sweat a little. Dude, we are so close to dry January. That's when everything changes. I know. Dude, it's crazy. I drove on the left side of the road, G. Oh, how was that? I can't explain how scary it was. Yeah. Zach got into a car wreck. Oh, good. Okay, so <laughs> the first day we were driving, when we drove the coast for like five hours, we came back, and when we got to the city, the city is crazy. Dr- mm-hmm. G, the intersections are like, it doesn't, <laughs> even, it doesn't even make sense, man. It's like, what are you guys doing? I don't even understand. So we're driving through the city at nighttime. When you take a left turn, the medians like pop out in the middle, and you have to direct around it. So like you'll take a left turn and then big huge medium in the middle and you got to go around it and there's big signs that keeps left. You fucking lost me. Z <laughs> didn't see the friggin' big median. So uh, we're driving. The big what? Median. You know like the... the oh, the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They pop up. Yeah. They pop up in the middle of the road. I have no idea what you're talking about but I got gotcha. you. <laughs> okay. Concrete thing in the middle of the road that mm-hmm. divides the road. And it pop ups. They pop up. <laughs> like you play Mario Kart. Dude. <laughs> Everything looks like Mario Kart there, even the bridges, G. Okay. The half finished, there's Mario Kart tunnels. It's crazy. It's a video game land, and everyone has a crazy accent. Okay. It's not real life. So we're driving. All right. Z, off the friggin' thing. Oh, dude, Mario man, lost. hit it. I'm like, dude, gee. I'm like, um, Z, man, you just fucking Give me hit a banana. That. He goes, ah, yeah, man, why well, I gotta keep going. And then he hits a fucking cone. Yeah, like that. That was Z. Oh. That was Z. In a big, huge minivan. That's but awesome. we didn't hit anyone. We just hit the middle of the road. Yeah. Okay. Then, these are medians. Yep. Bo- bo- it went, bo- bo- and then we bo- drove boom. back. We got there safe. So when you're on the left side driving in the passenger seat, mm-hmm. you're very close to hitting everything on the side, and you drive like this. You're so scared. It's really. It's like um um a ride. We were gonna go on a roller coaster. I said, Wow, we don't need to. We're in one. I am so confused about how you drive there. It's really <laughs> scary, Jake. Except. He fucking crushed it. So I had to drop. Of course, because you're a fucking F1 baby. Oh, dude, and I met an F1 racer this weekend. Of course. what I tell him? <laughs> All right, so I'm kind of a professional buddy. Mm-hmm. Ricardo, um, he's a big, huge deal, I guess. All right. I don't, I'm not into F1. Okay. Nicest guy in the world. You got to get in on it. I mean, I know, man. I lost my, my jazz. So. Well, it doesn't mean you can't have a, an, an infatuation for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a word. No, yeah, it is. Infatuation. No problem. Exactly. Nuclear. Nuclear. <laughs> Nuclear your bombs. Sure. Uh, anyways, met that guy. He's a sweet aunt. But I told him, listen, I'm an F1 race car driver. And I said, listen, buddy, I drive down the left side of the road for the first time. Fucking crushed it. I said, I'm going to stay out longer and drive around the city. Where did this F1 guy come from? Ah, uh, friends with Dermot Kennedy. Oh, okay. All right. Any friend of him is a friend of mine. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's good a guy. fact. Good guy. He's from Australia. Great guy. From Perth, really. Mm, Perth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perth. You've been to Perth? I think I have. I think so. I think that was on the big the big uh, trip that you took Way as a cooler kid. to go to Australia when you can drink and have some fun. Oh, I'm sure. Pool is different there. What do you mean? Table, mm-hmm. half the size. Balls, mini golf balls. What do you mean? Two colors. Not the same. No numbers on them. What? So we're playing pool. We're at this pool bar. And with these Australian dudes, they're fucking legendary, man. They're so sick. And it's so cool because they don't know who Z is. So for once, we're like, ha-ha, ha-ha, let's play a game of pool. We're, we're ready to fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, what is the word? We're going to hustle you. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to yeah, hustle yeah, you. Yeah. Dude, we almost did, but it's kind of hard, man. But they yeah. didn't believe us. They thought that we were fucking with them, that the pool balls were, we just kept saying, the balls are so much bigger in America. And they're going, no, it sounds like you're oh, pulling their legs. Mate, <laughs> no, you, you and your accents are too good. <laughs> but I cannot do it, man. And they were so, they were so keen on us being like, fucking with them. We're like, you guys are fucking with us. And then we got into a huge brawl about that the pool tables were, the pool balls were bigger in America. Oh, that's when big fights break out is that yeah. pool, yeah. pool games. I know, dude. And then there's, okay, so there's this thing in Australia. They're very, um, the banter's crazy. So like, they'll oh, be, yeah, the they'll banter. be in the, in the bar and they'll just be watching you play pool and the people from the other side of the room will scream like crazy shit, <sighs> like insane shit. And like, in America, that starts a fight. Yeah. But in Australia, that's like it's chill. It's good fun. It's good fun. Yeah, they're just cracking on. And fucking, you know, we weren't too 
we were like, whoa, they're pretty mean. We're going to have to get into a fight. Like, Z's like, whoa, I'm going to have to, like, buck up. This is crazy. Like, they're saying insane shit, like, calling us cunts and, like, bad. You know, oh, dude, he must have been fucking losing it. Second we landed. Must have been losing it. Second we landed, it was cunt, 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 cunt. And it was like, wow, is there going to be a fight? And then after. That's my people right there. And then after, after the game's over, they're just, they come over and give you a big hug. And then it's like, whoa. Are we friends or are we enemies? It was <laughs> sick. The Australian people are the coolest people on planet Earth. And they love Americans. They don't, they're like, they're so indifferent. I was so, I was like, dude, I've got to get all my questions in. I was mm-hmm. asking them so many questions. Like, what do you guys think about America? Yeah. What do you like? Have you been? What do you think about like fucking New York City? What do you think about? <laughs> what do you think about New York even? American sports. <laughs> uh, like, what do you think for real? Do you know Boston sports? <laughs> like, I was just like, what you do know they think? <laughs> what kind of music do you listen to? Do you know Fred again? Do you know John Summit? Do you know Zach Bryan? Like, <laughs> I was just going down all the paths. They're like, dude, they we know all love that. Americans. They love that music, by the way. They rave central down they there. Were, okay, so they were telling me drugs there are so bad. And not yeah. bad as in like scary to do, mm-hmm. is that you can't get like good drugs. No, you at can't. All because they have such. Because they cut everything with like baby laxative because it's so expensive to ship in. So yeah. you just get terrible drugs. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, so what do you just like rave for? rave with uh, I don't get that I think they still be doing those bad drugs yeah but like nothing happens I was like dude you guys are crazy and they all just have 30 rings on all the dudes and like they all have mullets they all have mullets and you can't tell if they're 45 or 12 because the skin cancer is crazy there man it's crazy (laughs) though there's a hole in the ozone layer and they are friggin wrinkled oh, out, man. They're getting the worst of it, huh? They I need some fuck bad zinc. Like, <laughs> they it is, need zinc, it brother. It's freaking crazy. I'm like, wow, I cannot tell how old you are <laughs> right now. And they are freaking awesome, G. It was awesome. Oh, that's awesome. But it was so hard to get drunk there because of the jet lag. Um, I don't know. It was crazy. I only got wasted twice. But, but I guess you I was only the there whole for, way there. I thought it was only... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh. Jet lag just affects your body crazy. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but it was awesome and i had a freaking blast that's here. fucking awesome man. and i'm back in, and in you were like, you were actually quite literally in the figurative sense of it all letting your hair down <laughs> i was letting my hair down you were letting your hair down yeah my uh, my blow dryer didn't work there it looked great thanks dude Diff. so i let my hair down <laughs> let i let down. my hair down and i had a freaking <laughs> blast here. oh man oh no crazy bugs what no crazy bugs. No? No! No, no tarantulas? No. no, everyone's out of their mind. Actually, the second I got to the hotel, took the sheet, <laughs> took the blanket off the bed because I was going to lay down for a second. Yeah. Spider in the bed! Oh, you hate spiders. Spider in the bed. Spider in the bed. Right How when big? I opened it. How Dude, big? it was tiny. But oh. I was so freaked out and I was spider like, wow. Spider in the bed. Spider in the bed. But my immediate reaction was I, I screamed, spider in the bed! <laughs> spider in the bed! <laughs> it was crazy. And then Zach just slapped it and I go, Dude, you got to kill it. And he goes, Well, you freaking scare me. You just scream, spider in the bed! And then the spider was just running around the room. <laughs> Spider in the room. Bats this big. Oh, wow. Wow, gee. Everything bigger than the land out under. Church is huge there. Everyone's going to church. What church are they going to? Catholic. Oh, wow. The one I saw. Oh. Right across. Church every day. Church every day? And I was like, wow, is there a graduation party? Or is there a... a graduation party at the church? <laughs> I don't know. There was a lot of graduation they parties at the church. It was, it was summer. summertime. It was summer, so everyone was graduating school. Okay. All right. then, I thought I was like, okay, is there a wedding? Mm-hmm. Is there a, no, just church every day. Church like, every day. Wow, you guys are really religious. This is cool. I don't know. I just didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Yeah. It was crazy, and there was bats flying around the church. What do you mean? St. Patrick's Cathedral. What? Yep, right there. Bats no, that's here. Big. It was there, too. What? Right across from the It could only be one St. Paddy's. I think there's like a billion, brother. There's totally a bunch of them. Yeah. I mean, St. Paddy was a you big You never deal. saw a bunch with a bunch of bats this big running around outside. Too, well, that's know? Vampire Church. I'm sitting down outside <laughs> having a glass of wine. Mm-hmm. The sun's going down. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting there. I'm like, wow, that's a big, huge bird. And then it comes <laughs> this close to my head like a freaking dinosaur. <laughs> oh. Oh. I said, wow, I screamed at the top of my lungs. And I ran inside, and uh, uh, Zach thought there was a burglar out there, so we fucking runs out. And there were spiders, and we got burglars. <laughs> I said, wow, that's a freaking huge bat. It reminded me of a oh, vampire. Wow. So that was pretty scary. Didn't the- see any snakes. Oh, okay. Not on the hike. No spiders. <laughs> huge centipedes. Okay. Mm-hmm. People were freaking worried about all these things. Penguins mm-hmm. at the beach. What? Birds, Grace, you would lose your mind. These birds are beautiful. You know the beautiful birds that you see, the colorful ones in the movies? The cockadoos. Like all of them, dude, they are just like pigeons there. Oh. I'm rocking around like, wow, I'm an aviation aerist. Wow, I you love, love planes. Now I want to watch a, I now want to watch birds through binoculars. <laughs> Only in Australia, G, because they're beautiful. Did they got talk? red, white, and blue. They look like a popsicle pop rocket, those ones. Oh, wow. oh my God, lost my mind. All the ones in the trees, white with the huge things, and they talk. Wow. Then you're riding down the road, they're green, red, white, and blue. What are they saying? 
having fun in Australia. <laughs> they're talking. What do you mean? Well, they're just like, wow. What? Yeah, hawks huge. Like this big, G. The birds there are crazy. I get what people love birds, G. They got great. That was good. No spiders. Huge, huge bird girl. Penguins, like I said. Penguins, like you said. That's <sighs> something that's really throwing me for a loop. What do you yeah, mean the penguins Little penguins, are like, totally, totally too cute. too hot for those total penguins. It was totally cute. Oxy Shred! Delivered right to your door Ooh, with woo-hoo. Amazon. Mm-hmm. Dude, I've, I've been drinking these, B, and I've got no crash, no jitters, no sugar. What, these Oxy Shred Ultra Energies? Yeah, dude. Wow, dude. Seriously. Calorie burner, zero crash, brain power, mood enhancer. And what flavor is that one? Because it's my favorite. Ah, uh, this one's Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. It's pretty fucking sick, dude. Mm-hmm. And the can is just like, I just want to touch it all, all night long. All night long. All night long no because I'm going to be up all night long if I drink a bunch of these. And you know what's funny? If I have to do my homework. Oh, what? If I have to do my homework and I want to stay up all night long, I'm going to drink these. Oh, obviously. Yeah. And if I want to help my hangover, I'm going to fucking drink one of these and pour some vodka in it and then fucking have a good day. I have a great day. Mm-hmm. You know what's funny about this company? What? We're talking all this stuff about Australia. Guess what? It's sauce awesome Australia there. based. I saw some there. Uh huh. I saw people drinking these in Australia. No way. Yeah, I swear to fucking God. All the all And I said to them, you guys have no idea how close I am with these people. <laughs> That's and crazy. And then they threw the can in my fucking head and I said, it bounced off and I caught it and drank it, all of it. In a shoey, right? Mm, in a shoe. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was pretty That's epic. That's right. Yeah. So how can they, these people find uh, OxyShred G? Well, they can shop OxyShred Energy on Amazon. You can buy some for you and a friend today. And you can also use the QR code right here on the screen and you can scan it, check out the link in this video's YouTube description. It's an also an option. Get it right now. OxyShred! <laughs> Weather's crazy there. <laughs> because Tell me more. <laughs> it's like one day, wow, I'm sweating, G. Yeah. And the next day, I'm freezing, G. Oh, what the hell? It's summertime in, in Melbourne. It's crazy. Okay. It's crazy weather there. Even you say Mel- we were Melbourne, you, you, you are saying it with a bit of an accent. You kinda, you're doing well with that. They say that you have to say it like that because if you say Melbourne, you're an idiot. Cross X check. We hate Americans. Uh, we usually love Americans. Shit. Don't you just don't pronounce wrong. Kangaroos everywhere. <laughs> Did you get in a pouch? Eels, platypus. You ever see one in real life? No, not can I say. I did. (laughs) You did? Truly. truly did. Didn't see any sharks. Would you go to the zoo? (laughs) Oh, one of the days, but everything I'm talking about is in real life. Okay. Yeah. It was crazy. I did go to the zoo. Huge snakes. (laughs) That's where the snakes are. That's where they are. Thank you, St. Patrick. (laughs) Thank you, God. And it was crazy. What else did I see at the zoo? Oh, my God. Emus. You know that they get There was a great joke you didn't understand. St. Patrick? Yeah. What is it about? Because you got all the snakes out of Ireland. I don't really know anything about religion. I know. <laughs> well, maybe everyone that's religious will think that was a good one. You're welcome. <laughs> my goodness. St. Patrick. <laughs> you know a lot about St. Patrick? I just know that. No. Yeah. Good. You know anything else about St. Patrick? <laughs> Nothing. Mother Mary? No, no, no. Uh, she's a whore. <laughs> Imagine. Lying, cheating, whore. <laughs> Imagine Mother Mary, dude. That is the biggest gift from God. Imagine what, telling Jesus? Your, imagine telling your, your your husband, listen, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> it's got baller. There's gonna be a whole season just for what I'm about to tell you right now, and nobody's ever gonna believe it, except they will, and they will practice everything they do around what I'm about to say. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> She yes. is friggin' baller. I got you, Jojo! <laughs> I got you! <laughs> like this. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well St. Patrick, Who Whoever checked to see if she really was a virgin. Like, I see if her, uh, her hymie is broken. <laughs> now listen, I'm not gonna be the one to do that, Jay. You think someone did it? Priests. <laughs> did they have priests back then? I, don't know. I literally don't know. I literally don't know. You know what's crazy? Yeah. I read the Bible. So many times yeah. growing up, because like you had to. Yeah. Can't take school. I don't recall it. Did nothing? It's all gone. Well, you know the one story. What one? About Adam and Eve. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess the apple. Yeah. And the snake. Well, you know what the apple was? Temptation sex. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen, I know don't everything do that about them. I know everything about the Bible. <laughs> okay, tell me more. I read it every night before work. <laughs> Oh, I just can't believe it. What? That I can't remember it. Oh, yeah, that's kind of crazy. How do you remember it all? I just don't. I, I don't. guess I guess suppressed it all because of, ca- of uh, Catholic Irish trauma. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 the priest did bad stuff to my people. I know, Brianna. I know. So I still, why are you Me laughing? too. That's why. But it's fucking Catholic trauma. I know. I just <laughs> you threw Irish in there. It threw me off. <laughs> well, I went to an Irish Catholic school. Yes. So that's probably why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> if we're recalling why people say things, that's probably why I said it. 
I'm having oh. a blast. <laughs> Me too. So Australia was great. Big birds. Huge. Huge. Had a blast. She got friggin'. So you didn't do a shoey? I didn't do a shoey. Fuck. I didn't do a shoey. You owed the Austral- Aussies a shoey. If I had a literal boot on, I would do it right now. Fuck. But I don't. I give you my cons. Listen, I love you, <laughs> but I don't want to do that. Sometimes something's bad. They do stink. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to pass. Mm, that's but listen. Fair. You had a friggin' blast this weekend. Oh, I had myself quite the week. Yeah, you had a Santa con, you had a mama con, and you had a friend con. So, um... Where did you begin? My... My house has been a revolving door of visitors. I saw. Which I adore. Of course. But it can be a lot. Of course it is. It can totally be a lot. We went from after our show to right after that. My mother comes back. Forgot she was coming. Mm-hmm. She texts me. Oh, I'm, I'm coming tomorrow. See you soon. I'm like, mm-hmm. ma, just saw you on Saturday. <laughs> so, um, I was, uh, I, you know, I was trying to think of what we could do together. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, you know what? Let's go see, uh, let's go do like the holiday shops and all that stuff. We did so much. We did so much holiday season. HDS? Spirit. HDS. There was oh, a lot of HDS going on. Lots of fun. Um, How one many of the glasses nights, of hot cocoa did you have? A 30. Oh, okay. 30. Mm-hmm. 30 glasses of hot cocoa, Brianna. Wow. And um, one of the nights I go, oh, have you ever seen uh, stand-up Christopher Stefano? Nuclear bombs. Christopher Stefano. He was in town. So I uh, took her to go see him. Mm-hmm. And then she goes, I loved that. Okay. Can we go get another one? <laughs> you ever go to two comedy That's shows in much. one night? That's too much. It was insane. She goes, I really want to see Sass. Is he in the, ci- is he in the city? So I went to took her. We saw was he? we saw Sass. Dude, he blows Steph- Stefano out of the water. He blows him out of the water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, wait, well, how lucky is she? Sass is never in the city. I know. He's always on tour. I know. How good was the show? It was great. Oh, it was great. Did Everyone Mook was there for him. him. What? Did Mook open for him? No, Mook's in Chicago now. Oh, I just thought maybe he's with his boy Sass. No. So um, took my mom Sorry, there, I but I'm, the I was friggin' I hammered. Mm-hmm. At this point, my mom is so drunk. My mom's so drunk watching the stand-up comedians go. And every time they said something funny, she goes, that's funny. She was just, she just had no idea she was doing it. She'd be like, oh my God, that's funny. And I'm like, stop it. Oh no. And like every time she did it, she'd be like, I'm sorry. Like, that's, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> and so um, Sass came on and I'm, I'm a little ham and I go, whoa, Sassy. And uh, you throw him off. Totally, I didn't have to throw. I didn't throw him off because he's a professional I and know. he's he knows what he's doing. But I saw um, him look at us and he's just, like, kind of bummed out. I Aww. think <laughs> he said, "Well, I'm bumming big time." <laughs> I just hate Dale Malley so much. Oh <laughs> man, Sass would never think that. No, because my mom works with Sass's uh, buddy at uh, the bar. Ah, and so she's always telling him to text him, and I just think my mom your is a crazed fan. Your mom's hitting on Sassy. Well, you know she's. She likes funny guys. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so how did he go? He crushed though? Yeah, he crushed. Obviously he crushed. Okay. And then uh, what do we do after that? Oh, and then... Um, well, just going to leave that out of there. And, and, uh, oh, we saw the tree. <laughs> yeah. After the both the comedy shows? <laughs> yeah. well, 30 the, classes of hot cocoa deep. It was the next day and we saw the tree. How'd it look? It was uh, the tree. Is it you thick know. this year? Well, this year, it's, uh, it, you know, it, it's one of them nature forest ones, as it is every year. <laughs> and it's a beautiful tree. It's a beautiful tree. Is it lit? I've never seen a tree just quite like this. It's lit, and uh, the people around it are also lit, if you know what I mean. Oh, wow. They're hammered. Everyone's got flasks. Everyone's holding each other's hands, saying, Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. How lovely are your branches? And so, you know, it's a beautiful you day. It. You it's enjoyed beautiful it. You enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. You know? Wow, was it busy? Too busy? Could it's way too busy, Brianna. Everyone needs there. to get the fuck out of this city. I know. Everyone needs to get the fuck out of this it's city. HDS, though. I know. It's just like everyone's there. It's just like I hate it. It's like everyone's there for a picture and nothing else. Yeah. You know? It's just like, can we enjoy this moment when we're looking at the tree? It's so beautiful. Well, they drive all the way to get the picture with the tree. You know what I'm loving? What? I'm loving watching everyone ice skating in the middle. Fall. I've done it one time, falling. I'm waiting for everyone to fall. I go, watch this. If you just look at them long enough, they'll fall. Watch this, ma. So you and are I looked at someone and they fell. Eleven Scrooge. from Millie Bobby Brown. Scrooge. You just Scrooge. Scrooge. Too. <laughs> eleven from Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> I love that band group. <laughs> wow. Dude. Me, <laughs> What's me up? Too. It's eleven from Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> We're number one oh hottest hip hop artist. Fall on the brink. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That's Dude, that's epic. fucking sick. Um, and then we went and we went to this place called Serendipity that we used to go to when I was a kid. 
And Dude, it was that's a beautiful- why I saw you bake hot cocos. Hot cocos. Those looked good. Frozen hot cocoa. It's the best thing you'll ever have in your whole life. Booze in it. What's that? Booze in it. Dude, they have the option to put booze in it. That's just our little special wholesome. Our special. That's our little special wholesome thing where we won't put booze in it. Wow. We just, we just decided to be sober that's for that moment. That's unlike them. It's unlike us. I'll tell you that. Mm-hmm. So then my mom. My mom leaves. And uh, my buddies from home come come to town. Yes. Um, we got uh, Tweedledee was and Tweedledum. Was this planned? Um, it was random. It was just kind of random. Yeah. Mentioned it because they wanted to come to the show. I said, I don't know if there's enough room for the show. No. Like, so they ended up coming. Anyways, uh, they came through and they're, they're like, I, I had mentioned Santa Con. Mm. And I was like, ah, as soon as I said it, I'm like, ah, why did I do that? Yeah. Why did I do that? Uh, but we ended up having a blast. That's good. I might be 25 years old. I might be too old for SantaCon. SantaCon is, is this thing in New York City where everyone dresses up as Santa. And it's like... But uh, I feel like SantaCon is super young and then super millennial. Yeah. So I'm somewhere in the middle of that. Yeah. Like, I feel like 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 25 to 30 year olds love it. And you kept saying... You, you just called me a millennial. No, but you keep saying... You're not a millennial, but you keep saying 25 is too old. I feel like it's a millennial thing. SantaCon. It's like 21 I'm not olds. loving what you're saying right now. And then, t- and it's like older people. Doing okay. It. Well, anyways, I just feel like I'm in the wrong spot for it. <laughs> I just don't think I, I would. I personally did not want to do it. Okay. But we did it. And it was a blast. And it was a blast. We had a freaking great you don't wear fun Santa time. suit, though. No, it was sexy. You're sexy, Santa, but you can't sexy. They just Santa brought, suit. they came with those ready to go. They have those. They just have them because they have them. <laughs> I mean, they just have them. They just have them. I was shocking. It was shocking. I forgot I we were them. doing that. And they're like, what are, you guys, what are you wearing? Do you have a Santa hat? I'm like, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot. They had know. literal full on Santa suits. It was epic. They had it going on. So what'd you do? Did you do the whole thing? Uh, no, we didn't do the whole thing. We went to one place and they couldn't believe it. We were at the DL. They could not believe we were raving in the daylight. Oh, wow. They're like, we are raving in the daylight. We are raving in the daylight. I'm like, yeah. yes, that's what we do. They're uh-huh. like, no, you, I know you don't think this is sick, but we are raving in the daylight. <laughs> I'm like, yes, we are. Yes, oh, we are. To experience that for the first time again, dude, it was fucking awesome. Uh, just the smiles on their faces. They love the whole. They love HDS, HDS so yeah. much. And so when we left my apartment in the morning, I'm like, just brace yourselves. There's so many people dressed as Santa. Like you're gonna, you're gonna have to change your pants because they just love it so much. Oh god. And as soon as we walked out of my apartment, one of them goes. They have Christmas. <laughs> and all day long, oh. I'm like, they have Christmas. They're Christmas. They're doing it. Everyone's doing it. I'm like, yeah, everyone's kind of on the same page today. Then we're all doing it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, so we uh, we raved in the day. Okay. And then uh, we wanted to go catch the Army-Navy game. Oh. So we headed on over to Sucker Punch. Oh, I thought you meant literally go to the... No, oh, no, no, no. I didn't know it was in Boston. We should have just done that. Dude. dude, I know. I know. I know. I know. I, know. I found so, out my cousin Ryle told me about it. Oh, uh, did he go? But I was in friggin' Australia. Yeah, did he go? I th- Think. I hope he had a blast. He's in the army. Goes to Norwich. Yeah, he's gonna be in the army. Oh, he's gonna be in the army. Yeah, he's oh. going shipped out. Fuck. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah, and I'm Ricky proud of that kid. You're Ricky proud? I've, I've never had a lime Ricky, but I, f- I figure I reckon they're good. P.S. Gourmet. Shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Chuckles. What do you got? <laughs> Do you just call me Chuckles? Yeah. Ah, canceled. I don't like this. I don't like this podcast. <laughs> Why? You have a good chuckle. I don't want to be Chuckles. But you have a good chuckle. That was the worst clip I've ever seen in my life. What? You ever see the clip? Did you see the clip that they posted this week of just yeah. me laughing? Yeah, it makes me happy. Oh, it made me upset. That I like your dirty, chuckle. chuckling cunt. Oh, wow. I mean it in the most Australian way. <laughs> Why the hell? You don't love your chuckle? No. Okay, giggles. I don't like it. All right. So what? You just you don't like to laugh even though you love to laugh. You know what you call you, you call you only call um someone who's like fucking ridiculous chuckles. Like, yeah, I'm fucking chuckles over here. It's like <laughs> a, it's demeaning. It. But I love your chuckles. I'm not calling you chuckles. I love your chuckles. Thanks. You have, you have good chuckles. Thank you. You are not defined as chuckles. I better not be. You just have good chuckles. Thank you. God. Where'd we go? We were at the Navy <sighs> Army game. Yeah, we were. And did you catch it? Who won? We didn't catch it. They were uh, having too much holiday uh, HDS going on oh at, at Sucker Punch. There was no games being played, just HDS. The only thing that was on the TVs was the friggin' log log burning. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> they had fire. Shorty fire burning on the dance floor. Oh, Whoa. Anyways, we go there. We're having a blast. Next up, Tiesto. Ooh. Went to Tiesto. Last March. time we brought them to Tiesto, they fell asleep. They fell asleep. <laughs> they fell asleep again. 
No. Oh. But the first time they fell asleep. Imagine falling asleep at Tiesto. Mm -hmm. Tiesto would go boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm buckling them up. And the whole time, before Tiesto, <laughs> we went out to fancy dinner. Okay. Fancy dinner in our little suits. Okay. Okay. And um, one of them saying, What'd you eat? What time will we go into this concert? I'm like, Probably like, like 12 30, like 1 o'clock. They're like, What? <laughs> what? After you've been drinking all day? All day long. Mm, that's a valid but I had, what? I had given I had given them like a heads up that we're going to this concert so like pace yourself mm. you know it's either it's it's never it's either one or the other one mm. or the other can make it uh, this time it was one not the other mm. and um, so only one of you we all we all ended up going to Tiesto right okay. we go to Tiesto and we were supposed to sit um, like we were supposed to sit somewhere and it didn't work out and okay. so we were all just stand, like kind of standing there yeah. like waiting waiting to get uh, seated and we just never really got seated question Yes. Where was this concert? Yes. Seems like somewhere terrible. The worst place. I know. I said I'm never going back. Oh. Fucking Marquee. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, Marquee. So why'd you go back? You went back on your work. Because I love Tiesto. You're a woman of your work. <laughs> I really love Tiesto. Oh. All right. So um, then we, we said, fuck this. We're leaving. We ended up going to the best club I've ever been to thus far. And I, it was probably because I was on shrimps, but they had... Nobody there. Fog room galore, like euphoria, and a disco ball in the center, and they were playing old hits, like groovy, groovy hits. Sing one. Oh my god! What? Sing one. Um, like I want to know what type uh, like, of groovy like, hit. Like, uh, like, um, like, like beat the Bee Gees and that. shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Like the Bee Gees and shit. Oh, it was fucking awesome. A dance club. Yes. What was it? It, I don't know. It was great, though. You're not going to remember I'm the not going to tell in, anyone. In, but you remember? I don't know. I just copped in an Uber, you know? <sighs> and I got to dancing. But we were Boogie Wonderland and all night long. It was and so much fun. all three of you made it? All three of us made it. Um, at <laughs> one point, um, I had to... We went to, We went and we hung out after. Uh, had a couple drinks after. And then, you know, it got to a point... Uh, I saw one of them talking to somebody. And I said, ah, I think it's time to go home. <laughs> I think it's time to go home. <laughs> mm. So, um... We went home, and uh, one of them said to me uh, in the elevator when I was when I went to go because all right. So we went back to my house. Paint we, a picture. Yeah, we went back to my house, drinking on the roof. Okay, drinking on the roof, having one one last it? drink. Uh, like six. Oh God! In the morning. Five. Okay. Five or six. Yeah. Uh, we're drinking on my roof, and uh, I I'm like, okay, it's time to put one of them to bed. So I, I bring I bring them into the it's like two little babies you the, got the elevator. Yeah, it's like uh, one one's being a good girl, and the other you know just time out. She's colicky. Yeah. 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 What is it? Colicky. What's that? Well, oh, baby's all colicky. They're like crying and like, ah, I got to put them to bed. What a word. What yeah. a word. Mm. Um, colicky. Mm. I want to put that in my uh, notes. Mm. Anywho, um, bring her downstairs. And uh, she says to me, she goes, well, they're not even going to know because of the cameras. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Like, they're not going to know I'm not that bad because of the cameras. <laughs> Okay, so this is a baby that's just learning how to talk. <laughs> this the baby, words don't really make sense. <laughs> this baby is a fantastic baby. <laughs> she's a one baby, of the best. She's, baby she's the best baby around. <laughs> she's baby boss. She can do baby. no wrong. <laughs> so what? No one's ever gonna get caught. <laughs> this baby is high IQ level. <laughs> what happened with the cameras? Uh, I have no idea what she was talking about, <laughs> and she was saying stuff like oh, that all night, which I was just when so she gets like hilarious. That. Like I was like fucking like. I don't even give a rat's ass. Like, I don't. Mm. <laughs> I was like, okay. It's crazy. <laughs> it happens every time this baby drinks milk. <laughs> this baby, she was drinking so much milk. This baby man. boss baby, for real. <laughs> I know, for real. Dude, so I drop boss baby off in my apartment. I go, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go back upstairs with big baby. <laughs> And she goes, what the heck? I go, sorry, bye. And I just shut the door. And Big Baby fell asleep with all their clothes on. <laughs> Wait, Big Baby upstairs? Uh, no, sorry. Uh, boss Baby fell asleep okay. with all the clothes on. Big Baby was upstairs waiting for Mama to come okay, home. Good. <laughs> and okay. then me and Big Baby, we stayed up till the rest of more time. Uh -huh. I think we went to bed at like 8.30. We watched the Cheetah Girls too. Oh, nice. Cheetah Girls is the most 
ridiculous movie of all time. If you sit down and watch it as a grown adult mm-hmm. and a big baby, <laughs> there it is. It's got nothing but laughs. Wow. Because Raven never stops going like this. No, no, no. And then um, Aqua. Dude, what a name. The whole time we're watching it, we're saying she needs no lines. We need to give her no lines because she sucks. <laughs> really? I hate that one. That one's the worst one. Which and one's then Aqua? all of a sudden, Raven says to Aqua, Aqua, how about you stop talking? And we said, oh my God, they're listening. <laughs> it was crazy. Wow. Yeah, Aqua is... Um, Blonde? No. So there's there's Raven. There is... Is her name Raven in this one too? What? Raven's name is Raven? No, Chanel her name is Chanel. Oh, okay. Chanel. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it in Gabrielle? You just watched it. No, Gabrielle is the blonde, I thought. Ugh. It's very confusing. I know there's Aqua. I know it's Gabrielle. Are you calling her Aqua just because the name of her tracksuit? Or that's her name in the movie? About her name. Okay, cool. About her name. Yeah. So we got Aqua. Mm. And Aqua should just not talk. Uh, I need to know which one Aqua is. Oh, Immersal. Oh, that's Aqua? Yeah. Oh, Aqua. Yeah. Okay, so you had a blast watching Cheetah Girls too. And I freaking love... Um, the, the, who's your favorite Cheetah Girl? Because obviously I think there's an obvious one. Uh, mine's usually always going to have to be Raven. Oh. I just love her because of Raven Simone. Yeah, Raven Simone. Our friends Gabriella. didn't know what... Yeah, Gabriella. Mm-hmm. Gabriella was her name. And Chanel. Chanel's my favorite. <laughs> All right, guys, quick commercial break. Let's face it. The holidays are stressful under the reindeer sweaters. We're sweating about gifts, she mm-hmm. cooking. And whatever the uh, one opinionated uncle is about to say next, oh, luckily, no matter how stressful it gets, we can all still smell incredible with Lumi. This holiday season, cross B.O. off your list of things to worry uh-huh. about. Lumi's got you covered, okay? I love Lumi because you can use it everywhere G yeah do you sweat in, sp- in some parts maybe not your armpits <laughs> why are you even asking you know that's the case <laughs> yes you do man it's everywhere so do I. everyone sweats a lot okay? a lot so if you sweat maybe between the cracks you sweat underneath the boobs Lumi is for you grace because it goes everywhere they got whole body deodorant G mm-hmm. Lumi seriously safe to use anywhere in your body pits under boobs thigh folds belly buttons butt cracks vulvas and feet even vulvas <laughs> yeah I know Pretty wow. good. Gee, it smells so good. It's created by and with an OBGYN who saw firsthand how normal BO is with being misdiagnosed and mistreated, okay? Oh, wow. Yeah, so want to hear a little bit more? It's oh. bacon soda free, paraben free, and pH balance for safe and below the belt. Clinically proven to control odor better than a shower with its soap alone. 12 hours after shower, the average person has an odor level of 6 out of 10. With Lumi, the average odor level is 0 out of 10, G. Do you want to tell me where these people can find it and what they got for them? Well, guess what? Lumi's got a starter pack and it's perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, and two free products of your choice. Wow. Like mini body wash and deodorant wipes and free shipping. Wow. Okay, so as a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off Lumi starter pack with the code BREE at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% wow. off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code Free. Wow, that's spelled L-U-M-E because it's a little confusing with how you say it and how it's spelled. Lumi, L-U-M-E. And the code is B-R-I, not that's, B-R-E-E, it's B-R-I. Yes, that's my name. Mm-hmm. 40% off. Get sweat free with Lumi. Thank you, Lumi. Guess who I saw at the movie theater last? I mean, at the, at the, at the, who was on my flight last night? Who the heck? Sorry, just, just reminded me of it. Yes. Um, fuck, what's a fucking name? Um, <laughs> Mama from, uh, oh, giant, oh, I don't want to say that, but she is gorgeous. What? <laughs> <laughs> She is from Grown Ups 2. She's Adam Sandler's wife. She's, oh, Summer Hike. Summer Hike. Summer Hike. Gorgeous. She's got the biggest tits in the world. I've never noticed those. Oh, I do. <laughs> I love them. I love them. She's gorgeous. And she's on my flight and she's so sweet. She's talking to everyone. I said, That's Summer Hike. But I did not say that. I said, that's the big poops from the grown ups. <laughs> so I said, what are you talking about? I said, seriously, that's her. Big and then poops we from grown ups. And then I said, turn around. And right when he turned around, she, she turned around and we said, oh, fuck, shit. And then we ran away and then it was her. Did you put your head on her melons like a pillow? I wish to fucking God, but <laughs> I didn't. She's gorgeous and really gorgeous after a long flight, too. Wow. She had a little braids in. So where are you fucking going? You asked? No, I didn't say no words to her. No, leave her alone. I was boss baby. And I said, fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. I ran away. Anyways, I just had to get that off my chest. Thank you. And so does she. <laughs> mm-hmm. God, yeah. She was gorgeous. Loved her to see her. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. I, oh, speaking of big ass titles. Okay. I have the option to go see some big titties tonight. What do you mean? Sydney Sweeney movie premiere. Oh, me too. I was just so tired. I know. I know. I'm thinking maybe I go. What are you going to say? <sighs> Let me see him. 
<laughs> All right, listen, don't be a freak. I'm not. I'm just dressed well, this you, way. If you wear this, I was going to say. I know. And you put the glasses on. I know. You don't even have to say it. Sydney, you know I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Unbutton. No problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to come out one day that I'm a big creep. <laughs> yeah. I think it's already out there. I'm not a creep. It's all jokes. This is a joke. I would like to see some fucking. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, sorry. It's Seriously, the glasses. It's the glasses. It was just a joke. Yeah, but uh, <sighs> that movie seems pretty bad. Yeah. 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 I just don't think I want to sit through it. No. <gasps> yes. Talk about it. Oh my God, Saltburn! Don't give anything away, though. Oh, it's impossible not to. It's the best movie, and you could hate it. You could love it. I don't care. It's so fucking good. Okay. I've been waiting a week to talk about this oh, movie. You cannot give it away. I'm gonna probably see um, it tonight. I went into it absolutely blind. I, I went no by idea. myself. I didn't have time for popcorn. I got it on my way out. Fuck. All I heard is penis. What? All I heard about the movie is penis, penis, penis. It's not as much penis as I like you would think if everyone's talking about penis. That's all I heard about it. There's more penis in Euphoria. Really? Yes. Okay. Um, it is just like it just it's I haven't watched like a good movie like that in a while. You over here in a shirt. Uh, I have a question. <laughs> what is the genre of film? A twenty four ask. No, like thriller. Thriller. It's a thriller? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> it all is. right. So it's a psychological thriller. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's better not to know. I'm just asking for the people wanting to know. Dude, I'm telling you guys, you gotta go watch this movie. It's really fucking good. And I cannot get the song Murder on the Dance Floor out of my head. Sing it to me. There's a murder on the dance floor. You better not kill the groove. You think they're gonna start playing that in clubs? Oh, dude, I was literally at the club the other day and they played it and it was no the shit. best and I was on shrooms. I'm like, there's a murder on the dance floor. Oh, and oh my God. Is there murder in the movie? At the club, I'm not telling you. At the club the other day, I was literally dancing like this. And it was so much fun. It was so much fun. Oh, disco grooving? To do disco grooving? Oh, oh my god. god. Having a blast, spinning around with everyone. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Nothing like getting spinned as a woman. I love to dance. When somebody spins me as a woman, I say, blush me in the face. But I don't like being forced to dance. Me either. I like to dance on my own accord. I have been being forced to dance here and there every once in a while you can't as force of late. To dance. And I don't like it. You can't force someone to dance. And I say, I don't like dancing the now. The natural rhythm is not going to come out unless they want their rhythm to come out. Like, come on, dance with me. I'm like, I don't want to dance. No, don't make Until me Until I want to dance. Yes. I'll dance when I stand up and I dance. And you say, may I have this dance? And then maybe I'll curtsy. Have you seen the movie The Baba Duke? <laughs> mm-hmm. Everyone says it's the scariest movie on planet Earth. What's up? It has a 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's good. Scary. It's really good. Okay. The percentage score. Mm-hmm. That means really well. That sounds like the Baba Duke. That's why I heard it. There's, a heat, there's something in the heater and it sounds like the Baba Duke. When do you watch all these movies? Uh, I watched it last night because I didn't sleep. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, know. Yeah. Oh, dude. I watched, I watched another great movie. Wait, what's this movie about? It's just really scary. Everyone's got to watch the scariest movie ever. Are you got to talk about it? Uh, I guess we're not allowed to talk about movies you said. No, nobody said that. Uh, no, I'll give it away, though. Oh, yeah. I just watched uh, um, two movies last night. The, the the new ones that they have on Netflix. One is about a woman who had an affair with a seventh grader. Julia Roberts one? And the Julia Roberts one. Okay, the Julia Roberts one everyone's talking about. It was a good concept. Terrible movie? Terrible. Like It was just all dialogue. That's what everyone's All saying. dialogue. Blue Ball Central. What do you mean all dialogue? It's really scary, though, because you could totally... It, like What the movie's about is like um, terrorism and how they're going to take America from within. And they totally can. Wow. They totally can because all they have to do is shut off our shut off our, our, our Wi-Fi, our internet, and our self-service, right? They shut that down. It isolates you, right? And then they cause mass confusion. Fuck, right? I'm confused. They're, they're, doing, they're doing all these sounds, making you go crazy. Oh, my God. I'm hearing something. I'm feeling Fucking like I'm going crazy. Dropping pamphlets saying it's, it's Iraq coming for you. And then oh dropping God, more pamphlets Iraq saying it's me. Korea. Oh, my God. It's Korea. Nuclear and bombs. And then all of a sudden people start turning on each other and you start a civil war and you're all going to die. I'm turn on my best friend. I would never do that. Why would you even say that? No, I was, I was going. Did you not hear me the whole time you were saying it? Mm-hmm. I was acting out everything you were saying. I guess you weren't following because you're confused because the government's coming. No, I'm confused because I'm dressing like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty confused. <laughs> well, if that happens, we can just go to Australia. Yeah, that's fine. It's easy. Well, it's not. There's so many birds over there, Grace. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. You're going to love it. <sighs> so you watched a bunch of movies. You're going to also watch The Muppets. Am I going to catch you in Central Park feeding the birds like the woman from Home no, Alone? No, the birds here suck. They're not pretty. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I didn't, know you, I didn't know if you had a new infatuation with birds. The only way I'm going to watch birds is if it's in the rainforest in Australia. I mean, if they get naked. Sorry. 
Stop being a perv. I am. You are being a perv. I know. Sorry. Being a perv. Yeah, so that's how your life end. Yeah, with, I guess so. With the people. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> that's how it ended. Mm-hmm. You watched The Muppets, which shocked me. Oh, yes. Because you I hate love singing. The Muppets. I love The Muppets. I can't believe that. To yeah. me, that's your worst nightmare. I know. And to our to Big Baby and Little Baby, they were they were so shocked. It's a shocking turn of events. I know. And it, it, I even put on the sing-along part. Wow. I know. What happened? To watch by myself. I love The Muppets. I know, but you what happened to you? Because you never heard sing like I don't know. I was just was smoking weed watching the Muppets having a blast yesterday. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. I haven't smoked weed in so long. Oh, uh, dude, I love I feel like a weed. narc. <laughs> yeah, he's narc ass. I'm narking on these hoes. <laughs> I haven't smoked I feel like I've just literally haven't smoked weed in so long. Really? I don't have any. You should go to the store and buy it. I know, but where did we used to get it? You get any bodega. I know, but it was always scary. Last time I smoked bodega weed, I, oh, I smoked that Zaza. couldn't breathe and I was going to yeah. die and it was PCP. And that I said, moon rock? My skin is itching and I'm smoking crack. Oh. Uh, you see, I've had, I've had um, better Maybe times I need to go since. to your place. Yeah, come to my place, man. I'll go to your place and get it from your guy because my guy is selling crack. <sighs> That's bad. I love Denzel Washington Grace. Oh, I know, dude. Oh, my God. He's the best. You ever see John Q? What is your segue there? <laughs> Love him. <laughs> We're talking about movies. And he was smoking. He was uh, selling. He was a uh, man on, uh, what is it? Training uh, day. Yes. He's a cop. Yeah. He's an undercover drug cop. Yes. He's selling crack. He's getting crack. He's making people do crack. Mm-hmm. That was my segue. Mm-hmm. But I watched every Denzel Washington movie on the plane. Just so people know what's going on in your head. Yes. I just love Denzel Washington. And I dude, know. you ever seen him young? Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh my God. Sheesh. In a baseball cap? Sheesh, la wish. In a baseball cap with that smile? I'm at 50 Cent. Totally forgot to tell you about that one. Yeah, what the he heck? He is the man. Best concert ever been to. Oh, my God. Best rapper in the world. Okay, so we kind of went to the 50 Cent. We landed in Australia, <laughs> right? Landed in Australia. We landed at, like, I don't know, 10 a.m., and we're all fucking so jet-lagged. We're trying to stay up the whole entire day to go to the 50 Cent concert because it was mm-hmm. like a, it was kind of a bit. It was like we're all going to go to the 50 Cent concert when we land in Australia. That's Yes, it's quite hilarious. We go. Not a bit. Best performance I have ever seen, you know how when you go to rap concerts, we used to go to every single one, yeah. they're just rapping over the their voice and yeah. you can't hear them and they suck. And they kind of just used to go, go, ah! Yeah. Yeah. Like the only good rap concert that I really saw where they cared was like Travis Scott, we saw J. Cole. There was like a couple really good ones in like Nicki Minaj, but fucking 50 Cent. Please. What? Sorry. I have I have to just blurt things out. I didn't take my medicine today. It's it's on back order. Oh my god. Yep, that's how I started doing blow again. Oh god. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I didn't do it. I didn't do it this time. I'm just trying to really hold on, be strong. Okay. Sorry. Please hold on. Be I'm strong. sorry. Please 50, hold on. Be Fifty strong. cent. Dude, Grace, you would have lost your mind at this concert. He came in from the sky. He came. He came <laughs> in. Sorry. He came in from the sky. He was floating from the sky. Guess how many alpha changes he had? Fifty cent. Is Alpha changing? Is concert? No, Brianna. Grace, he is so sick. I have to for that. He's, it is the best show I have ever seen. He has all these crazy, sexy lady dancers, oh. and he is the. Grace, oh my God. Okay. I'm trying to picture this is what it. what he does. Oh. Uh, the whole concert. What do you mean? Oh my God. With the, the whole women? concert. With his. Uh, uh, with his what? Dude, with his microphone. And he's just dancing. And I was trying to keep along. My arm got tired. He's so jacked. He's like this big. Oh, dude, he's so 17 jacked. outfit changes, dude. Even changes his fucking chain, man. Wow. He sings like no other. He comes on for an encore. Encore. Hour long. Wow. Crowd goes wild, G. Wow. Wild. So after, he wanted to meet Z. What? Okay, I know. And we were like, all right, this is just the team setting it up. This is going to be really weird. So me and Z go down to meet 50. Yeah. Fitty, sorry. Fitty. We go down to meet Fitty and we're like, this is going to be super awkward. He's not going to know who Zach is. And he's going to be like, what are you doing? And we're waiting in the room to meet him. And he opens the door. And it's just Fitty in there. You, Zach, you are the new everything. You are the best new everything. They dap up. They hug. He's talking. I'm talking to him. I'm like, dude, you are the best. He freaking... Bring it in, give me a hug, fucking kiss, hold my hand, give me a kiss on the cheek. Didn't want us to leave. Wanted kiss to, on Fitty on the cheek? Dude, the nicest guy in the whole entire world. And we were like, Zach didn't want to like impose on like, because you know how after yeah, our yeah. shows, you don't want to like fucking, yeah. it was right after the show. We got, took a shower and he, another outfit change, Ugh. by the way. Dude, and he like, he didn't, he wanted to keep talking to Zach and we left and we were like, is it rude that we left? Like he just like was the nicest guy ever, G. You would have. Wow. I never felt safer in a room. His smile lights up the world. Oh, he's got one of them. He's got one of the best smiles. I was watching his concert and I'm like, 
I just kept saying, his smile is contagious. I looked over at everyone and everyone smiling cheek to cheek. It is the best show I've ever fucking been to, Jay. Wow. Performance. 50 Cent. Insane. And you forget, you know every single song. Every single every, one. I've, he is the root of everything. Like everyone samples all of his songs. Yeah. It's cr- he is the man, G. And if you saw him moving on stage with his little, uh, uh, dude, G, man, I was like, wow, you wow. are the coolest. Yeah, 50 Cent. 50 Cent's kissing you on the cheek, making you feel so safe. Dude, so safe. I was He's like, got I got that baby face, you greatest right. smile in the world. Best smile in the world. Love Z. And he loves Z. Dude, and uh, uh, we went what home. What a Mad Lib. That's a Mad Lib. I said, oh, uh, 50 Cent kissed me on the cheek, made me feel safe, baby face, going, uh, 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 17 costume changes in Australia he with my boyfriend, Zach. Man, <laughs> and fucking, we went home. What did we do that night after the concert? Watched Get Rich and Die Trying. Oh, of course. Oh, my God. He is so cool. People forget, 50 Cent is such a baller. In the middle of his fucking performance, he just puts, dude, it was a great stage thing. You know, says it was insane. Like, yeah, yeah. The, it was 10 times that. Theatric performance. Like, like so many crazy things on the stage. And he fucking, at the, at, during one of his songs, he just has all the movies he's ever started on it just because he's such a big baller so like that sick. as he's rapping. And I'm like, dude, he does it all. Oh, wow. Wow, G, you would have loved it. If he ever comes back to America, <laughs> we're in. All right. And you were going to have the time of your life. 50 cent, Dude, man. yeah. Never would have thought. Never would have Never would have thought. thought. Best, like, literally... <laughs> Best, one of the best top five concerts I've ever been to. I walked out of there wow. being like, because I walked in and I'm like, what? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> this is crazy. And I'm sorry, but I just didn't know. I don't know. I'm not the biggest. 57 uh, just it sounds like w- wicked random. Yeah, wicked random. Dude. Wow. And he sold it out tw- two nights in a row. Oh, let's go. He is the best. And you are going to lose your mind if you ever get the chance to see it. Oh, wow. And I know you're probably like, what are you talking about, B? G? Yeah, I, I just, I'm having a hard time understanding, but B? I, I'm taking your word. G? And Fitty, you have no idea. No problem. So I can't believe I fucking forgot that. That was the first night we got that, too. It was crazy. <laughs> well, now you got a friend when you go to the Grammys. Oh, my God. I love that man more than life itself, man. He is the best. I hope he has the best life ever. He does. Him. He lives the best life. He lives the best life. I just got it going on. I just can't wait till you see a show. And Do you understand? You see a show, and you see a show, and you see a show. Go, but go get your fitty ticket. If you have a chance, get a fitty ticket right the fuck now. How are they selling them for? No. Uh, somebody's got a really stupid joke about fifty cent tickets. It's Buddies. like a dad joke. I don't know. It's something like, ah. how much was it? Like a dollar, no, fifty cents. Oh, I got stupid. you a hilarious fifty cent hoodie. I got a Nickelback. Something about Nickelback. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it, we were saying it would be so funny at the merch booth if it just said fitty times how many times the thing cost. Oh, that would be funny. But that's too much quick math. That's too much quick. <laughs> It's really hard. I'd be sitting there going, excuse me. I <laughs> know. Listen, Bray, you're telling me all about 50 Cent, right? Mm-hmm. Fitty, if you will. Fitty. And I am dying to see this concert. Everyone's so got to see it. When he comes back around, and you guys too, let's all be in on this, we're all going to buy tickets to Fitty mm-hmm. with Game Time. Game Time, you can buy tickets on Game Time. So easy. Last minute deals. Low prices. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. Guaranteed. You can get it like two, 20 minutes before the show. Simple app. Download it. Too easy. Dude, it's too easy. And it makes it seamless because there's no print and you can direct give tickets through your phone. Instant transfer. Easy. Oh, dude. Yeah. If you're the if you're the friend that's always buying the tickets for everybody in the group, easy send. You don't have to be in charge of all of them. Just nope. easy send. Easy send. It's so simple. And there's always the best prices guaranteed for anything. You okay. want to go to a sporting event, mm-hmm. you want to go to a show, you want to go to a concert, you want to go to a comedy, game time has gotcha. Gone. Thank you, Game Time. Dude, thank you, Game Time. Dude, you can take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. You can download the Game Time app, Grace. Mm-hmm. Create an account. Okay. Use code Plan Brief for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Right. Terms may apply. Again, okay. So create an account and redeem code Plan Brief for how many dollars off? Twenty percent off. Mm-hmm. Twenty dollars off. So $20 download off. Game Time today, Grace. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Go to a Fitty concert. Fitty. Thank you, Game Time. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So epic, Fitty Cent. That is so sick. And that's yeah. so funny that you hopped off to playing at Aussie Y'all's and then you jumped into Fitty's crowd. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we just jump, jump, <laughs> jump. jump. Dude. <laughs> you was a window shopper. <laughs> oh, man. There's like banger after banger after banger. Wow. Yeah, so I had a fucking blast of Fitty Cent, Jake. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait till you can uh, experience that one day. That was the me best too. night of my life. So that was Australia for me. Wow. Yeah. Best night of your life. Oh, man, G, you, uh, you can't explain it. Wow. You got to really be there. Yeah, you got to see it because you're not, a, you, you just don't believe me. I can see it in your eyes. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> nope. I wouldn't either. I didn't believe myself going there. I was like, dude, what are we doing? <laughs> I left saying, wow, that is <laughs> awesome. He's one of those guys where it's like, you see it, you got to see it to believe it. <laughs> I'm like, now for the rest of my life, I'm going to say, Fitty Sun's the best rapper of all time. You're a Fitty believer. 
I believe I don't believe in what much. What are Fifty Cent's fans called? Fifty fans? Ah, uh, I don't know. Fucking two quarters. I literally have no idea <laughs> what they would be called. I don't think That's he. Good. That's I good. think it's so hard that he doesn't name his fans. Yeah, just like you, my fan. You're my fan. Yes, yeah. of course. <laughs> My fucking man. <laughs> oh, man. Those dances, since you're so gay all of a sudden, mm-hmm. that you would have lost your mind. No, oh, did. They would. I never saw dances like that. Oh, wow. Gorgeous girls. Wait, tell me more about that. Shaking their booties and dancing no, like listening. no other. They mm-hmm. was like, oh, my God, Grace. Mm-hmm. You know song? Birthday sex. Yes. Okay, so Jeremiah was the opener. No way. Yeah. Oh, dude. Jeremiah. And I forgot. Jeremiah got us through fucking high school because oh, I yeah, was like, dude. I don't know any Jeremiah songs. He yeah, comes you out, do. I know every lyric to every song. Yeah, you do. In the middle of the Fitty show, when he's doing a couple costume change, Jeremiah comes out, sings birthday sex on the piano, playing the piano. Wow. Stripper comes out. Well, mm. I don't want to call her a stripper. I'm taking it. Well, there was a stripper pole. She's a dancer. She was a dancer, but there was a stripper pole during a set, so I, that's why I called her a stripper. Hey, listen. And there's nothing wrong with calling someone a stripper. Maybe she was stripping. And there's a stripper pole, but they threw the pole away. He's playing the piano. Mm. She gets on top of the piano. She's got a um a, a black thong bodysuit on. Okay. No, uh, yeah, I know. No, um, like tights on under. Mm. She goes like this, mm-hmm. spreads her legs in front of him. So he's playing the piano. Legs. This is her middle part. Okay. This is what we call a vagina. Ooh. Okay. So he takes his microphone mm-hmm. and starts singing birthday sex to her coochie. Oh wow. It was crazy. It's intimate. It was really intimate. I said, wow, do I look away? Do I watch? There should be a close door. Have to it was rated R. That's what you need, binoculars. And I kept saying, all I kept saying was, dude, these girls gotta freaking tape up their vaginas. How do they're not having a malfunction? Yeah. A wardrobe How, malfunction. Well, you know what they're letting that coochie breathe. They, yeah, they are. You know the mouth tape? Mm-hmm. People wear it to sleep. They must be closing it up with that. Wait, what? Yeah. Mouth tape to go to sleep? Yeah, you haven't seen everyone using that? No. Yeah. For what? What is it for? What is it's it? It's to help your breathing while you sleep. That doesn't sound like it's very helpful. It looks like they have, it's called hostage tape. And it, <laughs> what? Over your mouth. Dude, yeah, look. Who are you hanging out with? No, it's like a real big thing. Everyone does it. First time I saw it was Silvana on TikTok. It helps with, uh, so you don't mouth breathe. Oh. And it like helps with so much. It's like really good for you. I could personally never do that because I would feel like I'm dying. Oh, wow. But it, like, changes a lot of things for you. Interesting. So I'm thinking the girls put that on their vagina mm-hmm. so that it doesn't slip out. Because it was this big, the little thing. And yeah. you're not wearing anything under. And if you're spreading your legs like that, and there's a fucking 4K camera on you. And then how does it not um, pop, pop out? Open? Yeah. Well, yeah, like your, your body suit doesn't pop open. That's what I'm saying. This is crazy. I know. It was crazy to watch, G. Wow. Best show I ever saw. Wow. Yeah. It was beautiful. So uh, if you ever get the chance, guys... If you ever bored one night, dude, you How know much who, is he paying you? Uh, dude, nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing, man. Oh my god, it was so good. Fifty cents. It was so good. <laughs> I wish. I wish you paid me fifty cents for every time I said it. Incredible. Yeah, I mean you're already at like three dollars. Oh wow. <laughs> Australian dollars, that's like a lot more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, everything in Australia is kind of expensive. Yeah, because they're all, they got they they're on an island technically. Mm-hmm. Isn't everyone on their own island? Not me. I prefer to be on Epstein's Island. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I'm freaked out. <laughs> I'm freaked out. That was a bad joke. I saw something about Epstein on the way here. What? Just like, why didn't any of those celebrities get arrested? put to jail? Yeah, I know. I guess there's really never, 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 never no justice. Mm-mm. Unless no Denzel Washington may is the cop. never... No may never no more. Oh, and I played a wire over. No, never no more. I bought an uh, Irish knit sweater. Why? Ugh, stupid. Well, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Everyone thinks I married your cousin, Sean. Guys. Guys. I have never not once talked about any kind of anyone. I can't believe how... And then all um, of a sudden I'm I'm engaged to her cousin? I can't believe how gullible these guys are. Real gullible. Uh, But they got to be people who don't really watch everything. Fair. And just see Grace engaged. Yeah. And they believe it. I would just hope I wouldn't look like that, act like that, or be like that when I get engaged. Yeah. And I hope it wouldn't just be across the table mm-hmm. at Jack's wife, Frida. At Jack's <laughs> wife, Frida, to say the least. Mm-hmm. And also, my big speech from my from my big man is, uh, I love you, Jay. <laughs> Can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> there's no ring involved. <laughs> no ring. And uh, there's... My veil is a napkin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it just is a picture of us mm-hmm. hugging. Hugging. Three times the same picture zoomed in, went viral. Everyone saying, "Wow, 
I never heard about this Sean guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's my cousin, and it's not real, and I wish it was. Yeah, no, I know. One mm. of these days. One of these fucking days. One of these days. Mm. Well, maybe one of these days. Everyone thought I got engaged while I was uh, on, in Australia. Why? I don't know, because I posted a picture in a dress, and everyone's saying, oh my God, she's engaged. What? All the comments are, she's engaged, she's engaged. Why were you engaged? The dress wasn't even white. It was off. Gr- it was. It was. It was light green. Oh, yeah. Looked white. Ugh, I guess. But I'm not engaged. Neither of us are engaged. No, none of us are engaged. Literally ringless. I was like, I'm without ring. Yeah, truly. Want to get engaged? Me and you. Yeah, we've been talking about it. I know. God. We've been talking but, about yeah, it. Neither, yeah, see, everyone, all the comments were, are you, she's engaged, she's engaged. And then there's all these TikToks, Brianna's engaged. What? I'm like, what are you talking about? I am not engaged. Where is the engagement? Uh, this is in Australia. I know, but like where <laughs> in I know. Like, your eyes do you see an engagement? I know. I Maybe because I said today was perfect. Yeah. But it was just a perfect day. It was like nice out. <laughs> I don't know. I did not get engaged. It was just perfect. It was just perfect. That's great. So neither of us got engaged. Uh, and now we're not on tour anymore. So it looks like we're going to have to go on tour again. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm already. Well, I've had nothing but revol- 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 put a revolver in my mouth. Mm-hmm. A revolving door of, of visitors. So I've been pretty busy. Mm-hmm. You went to Australia, so you're pretty busy. Yeah. But, I um, left right when my visitors left. I went right on a plane. Yeah. And, and then, then I, I, had, back. I had two more groups after that. I know. It was, um, and now we're going back with those groups in a couple days. And we're going to go skiing. Please snowboard with me. I think I prefer to tube. Mm, whatever. I'll have fun alone, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes you have to. Mm. I want you to have fun. I will totally have fun. I'm going to go tubing there's with no, special needs kid. There's no tubing. We looked it up. Oh, then I'm probably just going to drink at the cabin. That's fine. Well, you can drink at the bar. You can drink at the cabin bar. With the aunts. The chateau. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just ready to get some snow in my mouth. Uh, I'm ready to get some whipped cream in my mouth from Hot Cocoa Spiked. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, guess what I got to wear skiing? What? A big, um, a giant jumpsuit with a big, huge... Uh, I'm actually going to save it for a surprise. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. So, want to go through these? Yeah. Good Morning America hosts announce podcast and then rumors that their exes are dating start to surface. What? Good Morning America hosts. One year after their office place romance made headlines, the former co-host of Good Morning America, What You Need to Know, broke their silence about their relationship and addressed the timeline of their respective divorces following their first official red carpet appearance together. Oh, I forgot about this. They're going to have a friggin' podcast together? That seems a little mean to do. I don't remember anything about this. Those guys? I don't know anything about this. Good. My mom probably knows everything about this. She uh, loves dude. Good Morning America. Oh, uh, my mom's more of a Today Show kind of girl. Oh, I thought they were the same exact thing. No, no, no. Those Different are two networks. separate things? Different networks, B. What networks? Uh, we got um, we got Good Morning America's on Good Morning America ABC, Network. And then Today Show's on NBC. So where are Huda and Kathy? <laughs> Huda and Kathy. Kathy's gone. Fuck, Now it's Huda and... Um, Toda and wait, wait, wait. Reverse, reverse. Sophia Bush. Where'd Kathy go? What? Where'd Kathy go? It's not Sophia Bush. Kathy's just done. She doesn't want to do it anymore. Why? I don't know. Doesn't want to drink at 9 a.m. anymore? I think her, I don't know. I think her, uh, I don't want to say. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. But she's gone. She's gone. And Hoda's still doing it, but she's not, it's not with Sophia Bush. It's with uh, uh, Bush. It's, it's, it's just not Kathy George anymore. Bush's daughter. Actually. Actually. She's doing that. Yeah. With Hoda. Yeah. They getting drunk? Yeah. Wow. But not as much as her and Kathy. And that is on Good Morning America. No, that's on the Today Show. See that it's on NBC. Today, Good Morning America. No, very important that you know the difference between NBC and ABC. I have no cable. We were on Fox the other day. We, as in me and you. Yeah. Did you know this? What are you talking about? Well, I'm about to tell you. Why wouldn't anyone ever tell me this? Nobody, nobody told us. Nobody told us anything. Are we getting arrested? We were on Fox Business. The clip about us talking about having too many kids. They just played it. What? Yeah, somebody tweeted at me and told me that. And I'm like, that's just so crazy because they didn't ask for well, us. Fox to News. Do that. What was their Fox w- business? What is their business in that? What yeah, get talk- out of my business, Fox. What were they talking about with They them? were just debating like whether you should have more kids or not. Oh. Like uh, like how like wh- how big is too big? Wow. Cuz the host had a lot of um kids? siblings. Oh. I don't know. Wow. Well, good just for them. Weird. Just give us weird. A, give that, us 30 bucks each. Like, I just want 50 cents. Yeah. Seriously. In a, wow. in a back rub. Wow. Not from any of you Oh, dude, did you keep seeing this? Matt Rife can't stop getting canceled. Yeah. Canceled after canceled after canceled. Yeah. You want to read this one? 
Comedian Matt Reif recently made headlines after he got into a beef with a six-year-old son of a TikTok influencer named Bunny Hadia. For those uninitiated last month, uninitiated. For those uninitiated last month, Matt Rye found himself amidst controversy for opening his debut Netflix special with a domestic violence joke. It has nothing to do with the stars, man. Just because Jupiter has a ring and you don't doesn't mean that that's what you're supposed to look up for. This is magical advice. What's going on? I'm lost. I'm lost. There's a huge world. That quote was crazy. And I'm lost. And that it's quote not. really confused me. I'm not a fucking scientist, man. We've said it over and over and over. It and has over. nothing to do with the stars, man. Just because Jupiter has a ring. And you don't doesn't mean that what you are supposed to look up to for this. What are you talking advice. about? I don't know. I don't know. Fucking, fucking headlines. Mr. Get me Rife, man. Fucking I, well, I'm lost. He is can't. He is just. Hey, yeah. Yeah. That lost me, man. Dude. <laughs> Big time. But he is. He's everyone, also losing the hearts of America. Everyone turned on him pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. It stinks. Mm-hmm. It stinks to have everybody. And then he lost it all. You think he'd be fine, though, because he's a comedian? Yeah, that's comedy. I know. But like his comedy fans were like TikTok fans I feel like women and then everyone was well, that's mad like at this him. guy's big that's this guy's big problem with his own self is like he doesn't know who he wants to play for true I <laughs> kind guess of like me I guess <laughs> I guess he's, you two should have a talk no no we've already sat right here next to each other and I didn't I didn't I didn't like what I was I didn't like what I was hearing <laughs> okay. I couldn't trust him I felt like I can't trust him and that's okay because he's not saying what he actually means He's, okay, here's what... Calculate a robot. What confused me about Matt Reif mm-hmm. is he, in person, I liked... I didn't... I, he was very kind and respectful in person, mm-hmm. but then on, like, Twitter and Instagram and stuff, he's, like, very talk shit and is, like, big ballsy and wordsy. Mm-hmm. I feel like you have to be both in person. Yeah. Either you're going to be nice online and in person, or you're going to talk shit in li- in real life and online. But just be this... Just be you, man. Just be yourself. That's what I'm saying. And, like, don't be a calculated robot when you come here and then and then be, like, a, a calculated brain surgeon uh, evil genius when you're on the internet. He should have just said all those... Yeah, just say what you want. Yeah. Say what you want. Just say what you want. I don't know. Especially if you're a comedian. Oh, Grace, the quote doesn't end. Actually, it's sad and that it has the rings. It has more also, and you mean to girls, the kid said. Jupiter also has a ring. Oh, Santa Claus isn't real. Your mom buys you presents with money. She makes on OnlyFans. Good luck. What? I'm so sick of this country. <laughs> I really am. I need a nuclear. I need a nuclear. <laughs> Listen, I... Somebody nuke me. I got so lost I can't fit. I'm done. I'm done. This I'm is done. fucking ridiculous. I'm done with this. I'm you know what I really want to say? What? Not ridiculous. What do you want to say? That's Just a- leave it up to the imagination. Okay. Right, we're done. We're done. Because that quote ruined our lives. And actually, we'll be back Thursday, so don't worry. Yeah, we'll be right back <laughs> Thursday. And hopefully, I'm, hopefully we're still so exhausted because this is kind of fun when we're exhausted. Oh, yeah, dude. I just banter, banter, I banter. I plan on just for you guys never sleeping again to keep it real. Keep it real and to keep it tight. I was thinking maybe I might do mushrooms for the next episode. <laughs> okay. I'm in. Good word. Prove it. <sighs> All right. See you guys on Thursday. See ya. Bye.